an open source, clean and customizable RAG user interface to chat with your documentation. This supports hybrid RAG pipeline and also graph RAG. In this, we can see when you ask a question, it is able to retrieve relevant information from the document and then answer our questions. You can also see a graph RAG representation in the same window. You are able to run this locally using Olama because it supports OpenAI, Azure, Olama and Grok models. Advanced citations with document preview support complex reasoning methods, multimodal QA support. We are going to test this and try to run this locally on our computer. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Kotimon. This is an open source code which recently got published and you can see the growth on the number of stars. This is getting more popular now. Here's how the user interface looks like. So you are able to upload documents and then chat with your documents with the power of AI. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can install this, but before that. I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First step, git clone code to mon, full URL and then click enter. Next, navigate to that folder. Now, if you open that in any of your editor, among those files, you got the .env file where you can add your API key here. So I'm going to add my API key here and also for graph rag, I'm going to add API key here. If you want to use any other model apart from Olama, Llama 3.1, you can change that here. And also for embedding, here we are using Nomic embed text. So that is the settings. So I'm going to close this after saving my API key. Next, you need to export graph rag API key. This is the same API key that is OpenAI API key. So we are going to see how you can use OpenAI models such as ChatGPT. So I'm exporting OpenAI API key here as well, and then click enter. For some reason, I need to do this for the graph rag to work. Next, pip install graph rag and then click enter. Next, pip install Kotimon and Ktem. So I'll provide all the code in the description below, the link to the repo. So you can just copy and paste it. So now it's installing those packages. Now just type python app.py and then click enter. This will automatically open this user interface as you can see here and the username and the password is admin admin. Now we are inside the user interface. So first step, we need to upload the files or the documents which you want to chat with. So I'm going to click this to upload and then uploading a file, upload and index. Click that icon. Now you can see it started indexing. This is the paper I'm indexing. So I'm going to chat with this document. This is segment anything model released recently. So in this, you can see it got indexed. It says finish indexing. So here first, we are going to try just a normal rag. So after this, go to chat. Now you are able to choose the file you want to chat with. So here I'm going to choose that file on the left hand side. Then now I can ask, tell me about segment anything model and then click center. Now you can see it automatically got that PDF as reference. And then from that data, it's giving me this response. Key features, prompt based interface and other features mentioned here. You can see the reference also on the right hand side from which page the response has been taken from. The relevant score, the preview, as simple as that. Now you can upload any number of files and then chat with your document. So second most important thing is graph rag. Same as before, you need to upload file here. I'm choosing a file, then upload and in index. Start indexing one files. You can see the status here. It's going through the regular process of indexing every single chunk. At the back end, you can see all the data getting indexed in this KTEM app data folder. There you can go to user data, files, graph rag. So all the data getting stored here. So this is the index status. So here you can see create base extract entities, create summarize entities completed, create base entity graph completed, create final entities that is happening now, create final communities that is happening now, create final relationships. And finally, all workflows completed successfully. You can see all the steps happening here. Now let's go to chat and create a new chat. Going to choose graph frag collection, select files and the file. Now going to ask about segment anything model and then click send. I can see error here. When I go back to the terminal, it says I need to export OpenAI API key. So let's do that. Control C to cancel the server. Same as we exported graph API key, we are going to export OpenAI API key. 
So both the keys are same, but for some reason it's not linked properly. As you know, this is just a tool in its early stage. So after this, click enter. Now let's type python app.py again to start the server. Now we are back to the user interface. I'm going to click graph rack collection again, search in files and choose the file. Now we're going to ask, tell me about segment anything model. Seems like I'm getting another error. So if I go back to the terminal, it says you must provide a model parameter. For some reason, this file is not created and it says wait sum to zero can't be normalized. So overall, I really like this tool, but with few bugs in regards to graph rack. I hope this will get fixed soon and I can see how easy to use this tool and be able to self host, run it locally on your computer. So to run Olama, go to retrieval settings. There you got the LLM for relevant scoring. There you can choose Olama in the drop down and then click save. Similarly for reasoning settings, you can go down there and click Olama in the drop down and click save. Just try and let me know how you're getting on with it. And if you have any issues, you can just raise that here. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.